that. What? It's like 10 at night playing Mario. Dude, leave me alone, man. I gotta play one more game. I'm trying to sleep with my swaggy glasses. What are you doing? Wait, 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 wait. Here it is. Here's the mushroom. Time to level up. Oh! <laughs> Why are you playing such an old game? It's a classic. Everyone's gotta play Mario. Why? Like, there's so many better things to do. Like, maybe even work or sleep. Yeah, I'm gonna work. Don't worry. I'm on a break. A break. Yeah, it's the go. longest break I've ever seen. I'm almost done. Here's time to level up, baby, right here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just like Super Mario is a classic, having a phone number is classic as well, and it's still super useful today. You know, when Microsoft first came out with its licensing, it included this peer-to-peer -peer calling for Teams for free. And everyone's gotten used to using Teams for chat and meetings and calling each other inside the company. But you really still don't have a phone number. And so you're counting on everyone in the world to use Microsoft Teams. That's the only way you can do peer-to-peer -peer calling. Now, as much as Microsoft would love everyone in the world to be using Teams, there's a lot of people that don't people that just have a regular phone number. I mean, when you call United Airlines to change your flight plans, are you calling them on Teams or are you calling a phone number that they've published on their website? Well, I think United might be using Teams too, but that's a different point. The thing is, you still need a phone number to give out to people, call me at this number, and you need a phone number so that you can place calls out. Now, I think you're convinced that you need to talk to your IT team, or maybe you are the IT team, and you need to add a phone number to Teams. But how do you do it? There's actually a very easy way to do it, and there's two other ways that are very scalable and you might prefer. So the easy button is to use a Microsoft calling plan. Now these are available in many countries around the world, so make sure you check out this list because it's always being updated Microsoft is adding more and more countries around the world that support what they call the calling plan. Check out my previous video on phone system and calling plan. So the second way you can add a phone number to Teams is through direct routing. And you might be wondering why would I pick direct routing if calling plan is the easy button? Well, here are some reasons. Number one, sometimes I hear that direct routing pricing per minute charges can be less expensive. Now the second reason is because direct routing uses an SBC, which is a session border controller and traditionally lives inside your data center somewhere. But you know, some teams, they like to have ownership of these equipment and so they like the fact that it lives in their data center on premise and they can manage and operate it at will. But what's happened over time is in addition to SBCs being able to live on premise, a lot of telco providers are now providing SPC as a service, which basically means the SPC lives in their cloud. So you have the option of the SPC on-premise or the SPC being offered as a service. Now, these are some of the different SPC providers that Microsoft Teams interoperates with. There's quite a few of them. The other advantage of an SPC is that if you do pick an SPC to live on-premise, you can basically use it as an SVA which is a survivable branch appliance, which means that if you have SIP trunks or T1s or telco connectivity to that SBC SBA on premise, in the event that Teams goes down because it can't reach the internet or, or Azure data centers, the Teams client can still talk to that local SBC SBA that's on premise, Teams can still dial out, which is basically a way of having survivability. Think of this similar to SRSD in the Cisco phone world. The third reason why direct routing is because a lot of companies have relationships with their telco providers, contracts, phone numbers, and the service, and they might be happy with everything that they're getting from these providers. So they want to basically call the provider and say, hey, keep our numbers, keep our contract, keep everything that you have more or less the same, but instead of connecting it to my existing on-premise PBX, connect it to Microsoft Teams, and that's completely doable. The fourth reason is availability. So calling plans today are available in 28 countries and that list is growing, but in all these countries that we don't have calling plans, direct routing can help fill in the gap. 
because direct routing works with telco providers that are available all around the world. So if you're working with a telco provider in Dubai or in South Africa, and we don't have calling plan services there, that might be a good reason why you'd want to pick direct routing. And the fifth reason is if you have a lot of analog phones and paging systems and fax machines that you want to connect to Microsoft Teams, or you have a PBX that you want to interoperate with Microsoft Teams, then direct routing or SPCs is the way to do it. So those are five reasons why you would want to pick direct routing instead of calling plans. If you have some other favorite reasons, make sure you drop them down in the comment section. Now, what about Operator Connect? Because that's the third way that you can get a phone number for Microsoft Teams and really the newest addition to the PSTN connectivity options that we're providing customers. What is it and why would I pick Operator Connect? First of all, I look at Operator Connect as really the evolution of direct routing. If you are using direct routing with a service provider today, chances are that they offer Operator Connect as well, or if they don't, they will soon. So you can ask them to move over to this Operator Connect model. But that still begs the question, why would you want to do it? So that brings me to my second reason, which is it's a really simplified interface compared to direct routing because you can just go to the Teams admin site and you can basically pick your operator in your country of choice. And once you pick that operator, you start to establish this contractual agreement with them. And when everything is all said and done and you've requested phone numbers in that country, the numbers actually show up in your team's admin site and you can assign them to user. So this is a lot more simple and it's really got that look and feel of a Microsoft native calling plan but it's being offered to you by your operator of choice. The third reason is because of the connectivity between the service provider and Microsoft, and it's basically using this Azure peering service, whereas direct routing is using connectivity over the internet. So this improved connectivity basically leads me to the fourth point, which is an improved SLA. There is now actually SLAs between Microsoft and the service provider which means that you can really count on any interruptions that you're experiencing to be able to be resolved really quickly because of that agreement that Microsoft and the service provider has. But here's the thing, because Operator Connect is fully as a service, you don't have that option of having SBCs on premise or in the cloud. And so what that means is that if you have analog phones or PBX integration requirements, Operator Connect doesn't allow that today. But here's the good news, and I've mentioned this in the past, whether it's Microsoft Calling Plan, Direct Routing, or Operator Connect, you can mix and match. It doesn't have to be all or nothing. You don't have to pick one, you can pick all three. So for example, if in the US or in your country of choice where calling plans exist, you wanna pick Microsoft Calling Plans, perfect. And then if you look in Dubai and we don't have a calling plan, you can pick Direct Routing. And maybe in some other place, there is Operator Connect that you can pick. So it's up to you. And for all you folks out there that are looking at the details, here's a couple of slides that I share with you. This one talks about the difference between Operator Connect, Direct Routing, and Microsoft Calling Plans. And this one talks about the details more on the technical side between Direct Routing and Operator Connect. So I hope you found this session useful and I really hope that you level up and add a phone number to Microsoft Teams. It's so easy and it really increases your productivity at work. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below and I'll catch you on the next one. Check out some of these similar videos that you might be interested in and don't forget to subscribe.